Okay, so a quick take two. Um, so this is a reply to how can I improve this kit. So, um, just touching base, you can use snare lines. So as you mentioned, uh, animals might get stuck in it. You can sort of bridge off that idea and actually, where laws are allowing it, set up your trip line to actually be a snare line and have your warning system as a warning system or a notification system that an animal has uh, gotten caught in that. Um, there's all kinds of snares and otherwise that you could set up along a line um, that would be triggered um, as long as it's not releasing uh, unless it's yeah, yeah you could still rig it up in a way that it, you wouldn't be notified but the line would still be uh, grounded. So you can also set it up as a silent detection system. So if you have ultrasonic or otherwise, you can have it so that a, an app or a microphone connected to an electronic detection system can hear something that's not audible to the human hearers, but um, will still be uh, recognizable by an electromechanical system or electrical uh, acoustic system that then notifies you, such as a phone app that can detect at a higher range of, of uh, hearing and then notify you, you could have that set up as a notification for SMS or otherwise. Um, so even if you aren't present on the property, you, or you're not present within hearing range, you can still be notified. Um, the other big thing was setting up a manual, uh, from the manual mines and uh, booby traps. So uh, there's all kinds of traditional booby traps from the Vietnam era or otherwise. Uh, that are pointed out in there. Page 48 uh, goes over um, an example um, for a traditional explosive trap. You could also do it as a non-explosive trap, such as a paint marker or otherwise. Um, you could set it up as a non-explosive trap, like a deadfall netting system or um, dead drop type thing. Uh, 54 and 55 have other examples, and that's Bamboo Whip, for instance. Just rehashing this information. Um, yeah, so there's lots of options on what you can do to improve a standard trip line um, or a trip wire, uh, such as using many, many, many uh, booby traps. Um, now bear in mind that will be very illegal in non-WROLSHTF type situations, um, but there's so many possible things you could do. Um, you know, you might want to add a knife to your uh, kit if you don't carry it separately, just so you can rig up some of the notching systems or otherwise for various booby traps or a shovel, um, so that you can dig a hole. Um, for some of these or you might want to add more rope more lines so that you can rig up um, more advanced systems again any type of booby trap or system or monitoring system if you want to have these people marked somehow um, so they can be later tracked now the other thing uh, is you might want to find ways that you can notify people in your group friendly forces quote unquote um, or even yourself from remembering where these are set up so you don't accidentally trigger them you might want to have IR paint along your tripwire so that if you use night vision for instance you can see where the tripwires are but they won't necessarily see where the tripwires are um, there's other ways you could do that, um, having it so that uh, they're reflective in a certain type of, of light. Um, so there's lots of little things. You can mark little stick figures where things are. Um, yeah, so you might want a map, have a little map with all the points you put your trip wires, um, or GPS mark them, have a little GPS device in there that you can use to put the points of where you set up your trip wires are. Um, so there's lots of little things you can do to improve your kit simply by having add-ons and things like GPS devices or having a marking system that's IR reflective if you have an uh, IR detection system or, um, you know, there's lots of little things. So just some ideas. Not quite as good as the first one, but nonetheless, it is what it is.